Hey guys, uh, Shoot Your Sinks here. Uh, today I am sick, but. <clears throat> oh, excuse me. <laughs> Hey guys, Shorty SX here, and sadly, although I was kidding with that voice, I don't sound like that yet, thank god. I am actually a little sick, <laughs> in the sense that I got some weird, you know, one of those little annoying flus that just make you sneeze all day and run for the tissues, but not in a good way. <laughs> but, like, it's, it's nothing big enough to actually make you bother to go to the doctor, but just big enough to piss you off. Anyway. Point is, if I sneeze during this video, please excuse me. It's not meant to insult you, unless you're a camper, of course. But <laughs> anyway, I'm kidding. So today is, I guess, part four of my random quick scoping tips. And I thought what I'd do is I'll answer one of the most commonly requested questions, which is, what sensitivity I play on and why? Like, okay, right off the bat, I'm gonna say, in case you're just curious about that, I play on ten, and. I'm gonna tell you why I do and how I started and all that because obviously I didn't start at playing 10. Like 10 is way too fast to start on. But okay, well the reason I play on 10 is because it just gives you a better reaction time, at least for what I needed for it. Like for example, I play a lot of free for all, right? And the number one thing I always tell you guys with free for all is awareness, as in always expect someone to spawn or be right behind you. So, you know, you kind of need to have high enough sensitivity to be able to turn around on someone who's behind you and hopefully I'll shoot him. Speaking about shooting, by the way, look at Soldier Boy, like, uh, I just got lured into his little camping trap, but, uh, man, don't, don't these guys just, come on, Soldier Boy, where are you? Soldier Boy, I know you're over here. Oh, oh, eat that C4. Get out of here. Respect my authority. Anyway. Authority. <laughs> right, back on sensitivity. So, basically, as I was saying, it higher sensitivity gives you much better reaction time, which is what I'm going for. Because if you play on, let's say, medium, like I started with, which is you know, one of the lowest sensitivities, you don't have, you have crappy reaction time. You know, it takes you like four minutes to even turn around. It's, you're not going to get anyone behind you. And it's more suitable for longer shots where you're, I guess, sitting on one side of the map and... <laughs> trying to kill someone on the other, but for quick scoping and running around, it's really not the best. So, yeah. But with that in mind, I do have to point out that you, if you play on lower sensitivity, the upside is that you will have, you know, an advantage longer range. Because as someone who plays on 10, I can tell you, it's definitely a lot harder to hard scope long distance on 10 than it is, you know, on lower sensitivity. It's just because, well, your aimer moves that much quicker. But, once again, the upside of that is, because it moves that much quicker, it actually makes it makes your whole shot quicker. So, like, for example, a drag scope with 10 sensitivity is almost as fast as a, you know, poorly timed quick scope, so, anyway. But, the idea here is that there's no right sensitivity for everybody. I play on 10 just because I prefer to play on 10 and I like the fast reaction. You gotta pick what's right for you. As in, I usually advise people if they're really unsure what to play on and they want a quick scope, I usually advise something like a 5 to 7. That's a good like range. If you play with that, you get comfortable and you feel, okay, I want to go higher, go for it. If you feel it's way too fast and you want to go lower, do whatever works for you, you know? But the key is just keep in mind that you want to have some flexibility with how fast you turn your sniper because, you know, it's a one-shot bullet. As in, you're not going to fire off an automatic gun. It's not a PP-90. You're not going to empty your entire clip with billions of bullets in a second. It's You have to be more flexible. Otherwise, you, what you just saw right here would not be able to happen. But anyway, so if you are planning to increase it, take it in steps. I didn't start playing on 10 one day and was like, okay, I'm just going to jump from 2 to 10. No, you increase like, let's say, two points or three points, and then play. You get good at it surprisingly fast. Like, you'd probably be shocked. You'd be playing, and at first it feels like you're, you've had way too much to drink, and you're kind of like running around going like, what's going on? I can't look around for crap. But, you know, <laughs> give it a couple of games. It gets, it gets easier a lot quicker than you probably think. And once you get decent with that, let's say after a week or two, even less to, if you feel fine with it, move up another couple of points, see how that feels, and just keep going until you feel really comfortable with what you're doing. And like I said, I mean, there's no right one. Just pick whatever works for you and be happy with it. And if you feel like changing it, don't be afraid to, because you'll be fine, you know? But, alright, the last little 
thing or popular question actually in the whole scope of sensitivity is should you use different sensitivities for regular guns and quick scoping? Like, should you, you, should I use ten for quick scoping and then maybe seven for reg gunning? And this is my personal opinion. You can disagree if you want to, but I'm gonna say no. Do not do that. It will make your life much harder. And the basic reasoning is this: when you're looking around with a sniper, as in when you're go running around the map trying to quick scope, like I am right now, you're using the hip fire sensitivity, as in because you're not ADSing. The speed you're looking around with is actually identical to this if let's say you were using a submachine gun or whatever like your hip fire sensitivity is going to be the same regardless of what gun you use and because of that and i'm dead serious about this one i actually very often warm up one with one game of just playing with let's say a submachine gun or an assault rifle or something like that and hip firing quite a bit but trying to actually get my aimer on the enemy and what that helps you do is get adjusted to that sensitivity and really gets you prepared for those quick scopes but you know that's what helps me and like i said don't really don't be tempted to pick a lower sensitivity for red guns because if you use the same one, you'll actually be improving your quick scoping and your red gunning at the exact same time. And it's a much way, better way to go. But uh, there we go. Final kill. <laughs> well, thanks for watching, guys. And if you come up with an interesting question that you may want me to answer, pop it down there in the comment section. And if I see something I like and I think will be applicable to others, I'll be happy to do a commentary on it and let you know what I think. But thanks for that. I hope you liked the video. And... Check out my other stuff and my channel. Otherwise, I'll see you next week. Peace.